Hello, this is Johan Falk and this is another screencast about using Drupal and learning to use Drupal. In this screencast I'm going to show you how to install a module in three different ways. Uh, I have been using my site now for a few screencasts and I think it's about, to, about time to have another module that uh, allows me to do some, some neat stuff with it. Uh, the module I want to install is called Devel. And if you want to install and find modules, you can go to drupal.org drupal.org and over here you can do two different ways you can either go to download and extend and you'll find uh, a list of top modules and themes and, and other projects uh, or you can which I will do right now uh, search for the module name is called Devel in this case and I'm even gonna refine my search to only search for modules and go it only found 101 results. Here's the first one was the one I was looking for. So I'm clicking on that and here's uh, the project description page on Drupal.org and we can see we have um, well some text describing the module down here we have uh, packages I can download and I'm using Drupal 7 right now so I should be using 7 dot something if I'm a hardcore developer, I might be using the, the development version of this module. Uh, but if you want to use a module on a live site or something, you should always use the stable versions. And I'm going to download this. You can either do, take this uh, tarball, it's called the tar.gz uh, extension, or just the zip file, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to open this one up. <laughs> Come on. Oh, sorry, now I have two of them. All right, here it is. I got two of them, sorry about that. Uh, a module called Devel in, in a, its own folder with a lot of uh, files in it. This is the first step, finding the module and downloading it. Then you uh, find your, uh, the files belonging to your site. Uh, these are mine, belong to the site I'm working with right now. I'm not right now working on web enabled. I will show you how to install on web enabled in a minute. But I'm working on a local site on my uh, on my server folder in, in my uh, on my computer slash and then the day's date or now actually yesterday's date. Now I can go into here. If I want to uh, add new modules, I should go into sites, all, and modules. Um, there is a folder, a root folder called modules. These are for Drupal core modules and you don't want to mess around with this one because this should be untouched so you can do nice and clean upgrades of Drupal core when that, uh, when that time comes. So sites, all, modules. This default thing can be used as well and you can add other folders here but that's uh, another story. Sites, all, modules, that's a standard place for downloaded contributed modules. And then you just drag the uh, folder over here and that's it basically. Now if I go into my site and click on modules up here, uh, the new module should be available somewhere. Let's see, closing this one. Here are all the, the Drupal core modules by the way. And here we have the development modules in the develop package I just downloaded. And the one I want is this called Devel Generate, but I won't be enabling this right now. Because uh, I've got to show you a few more things. Uh, now I'm going to delete this. And you can do that, no worries, as long as it's not enabled. If I had enabled this module, um, your site would still work fine. Uh, it would just uh, be as it was without this module, but you might have uh, extra stuff put in the database which is not a very good thing. Um, and now, let's see if I close this one, I don't have the develop package anymore. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so uh, if I want to do that, well, there's a quicker way of doing this if uh, you're a hardcore developer. There's a tool called Drush. Let's search for this, Drush. Have a sip of tea. 
drush is um, something uh, that um, well a, a tool a script tool uh, used for command line environment to do a lot of good Drupal things uh, in a quick and easy way and uh, so here I have well the drush project it's not really a module or a theme or something like that it's it's a shell script that you install somewhere uh, and there are instructions for how to install and, and do things here and Drush allows me to do this. I'm now in my uh, sites folder here, well, my websites folder, and it, I can type Drush download devel. And this will go to drupal.org and fetch the devel module and put it in the right folder. It gives me some kind of warning here because of uh, some database things. I'm not really sure why. That's not the important thing. The important thing is this. Project Devel, uh, 1.2 version downloaded to this folder. And it contains three modules. If I go into the Finder again, you can see the Devel module is here again. I want to mention two more things. Uh, you should actually read the uh, check out the README uh, file first time you install a module to make sure that it doesn't require any extra steps on installation. Usually, it's just downloading the the files, putting them in this folder and then enabling the module in the modules list. Uh, but you never know. If that doesn't work, check the readme file. Uh, okay, so that's the quick way of doing it. Um, you can either do it manually, download from the package here and unzip it and put it in the right folder, which is sites all modules, remember that. Um, or you can use Drush if you got Drush installed. If you have an account at uh, WebEnable and you're using WebEnable for this, you have Drush installed. So I can do this. Uh, now logging and doing this from start. So you can follow every step. Da -da -da -da. Here it is. Uh, and I'm going over to my sites. Da -da -da. Here's the site we're working with the one I set up in, in previous screencast. Here. All right. And here's a link called Drush. Very useful. If I click on that, uh, I get to some kind of web interface for using Drush instead of using it from the command line. There. Um, hmm. And I want to uh, install new modules I guess. So I click on modules <laughs> there it is. Okay, it lists all the modules I have right now on the site and I can download more projects. I want to add devel here add and then when I'm happy with this list I click download now Drush goes and fetches this and put, puts it on my site, and that's just useful. There it is. And it's downloaded, and I can now see down here somewhere I have Devel installed. Well, it, I have Devel um, in, in the uh, a file system of my site, but it's not enabled yet. All right, uh, so that's it. Now we are ready for starting to use uh, the develop module, which we'll, we will be doing in exercise seven, I think, in the boss exercise suite before doing some more stuff there. So I'll see you in that exercise. Bye.